Hello guys, welcome back to the Noob DM channel. I know it's been a while since I dropped the video. Um, there's been a lot going on. I was able to move once again. I think I'm probably stable now. Gonna be um, moving, uh, not moving anytime soon for a while. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and um, talk about uh, some of the news that happened while I was gone, because it's been at least a month or so. Um, and right now, I am on the uh, hardcore server for uh, Classic, uh, which is still pretty jumping. I mean, yesterday, there were about 50 players, and I think most of the pe uh, most people playing now are doing the hardcore challenge, as they should. Um, uh, there is a problem with... Um, the server that I'm on, at least it was yesterday, that was a problem. Um, and it's the, uh, the hardcore, the um, official hardcore, well, for the for NA. Um, I know there's one for um, Euro European server, but this is the NA server. And um, I was having a lot of fun. I actually leveled up a um, undead warrior um, and he was level six and then, um, but I don't know whether it was the server or some other technical issue, but we were getting a lot of disconnect last night. So um, had to stop, stop and, uh, and, and it was unfortunate because I had to, you know, the main rule for hardcore is obviously death, death equals delete. And if you're not familiar with the, game, the, the rules or the game server, um, yeah, the server rules basically, and that's basically what makes um what makes it so much fun. I mean, look at it's a Sunday afternoon currently, um as I um I'm dealing with these uh, these mobs. So what happened is I was level six and I got a disconnect and um and the mobs killed me, uh, killed uh. So it ended at level six, which was very unfortunate because I was on my way to seven. And now I have to start over, obviously, with a new tune or zombie here. Um, I think this server is called the uh, Buccaneers, Blood Sale Buccaneers, if I'm not mistaken. That's basically the um, hardcore server for Classic, right now, Classic Era. Um, and it's it's jumping. I mean, I've been, I, I haven't... I haven't been playing retail. I have been playing uh, EQ, EverQuest 2 as, um, sometimes um, because I joined a guild. Uh, but uh, but most most people there are already max level, um, and you know it's it's still fun to. Uh, this is the only version actually of uh, the classic which um, allows you to um, enjoy, in my opinion, um, just the leveling process. Because if you play retail. There's a lot of people that are already, you know, it's basically tailored, as you, everybody, or most people already know, it's basically tailored to, um, for raiding. It's basically if you want to go ahead and, and do some raids, um, that's the, the, like, the number one reason why people even show up. It's like they want to do some raid. Um, and, but it takes all the, I think, in my opinion, it takes all, all the fun out of the, the whole process going to 60 um, and then you add complication of um, you know you having to delete if you even fall and I think most people will be lucky to make it to 20 unless they're really really good uh, because you can't group and you can't go on the auction house you can't get a lot of help basically and um, if you're interested in this kind of um, gameplay I think you should try it because I think that it's Again, kind of revitalizing. Um, Classic was not really doing well. And then the community sort of brought it back. I mean, if you take a look right now, we are in death now. And you can see that, well, let's see. If you do the check right now, there are 50 people in the starting area, in this uh, death now. There, which is basically the starting area for um, undead, as most people know. Anyway. Um, if you enjoy this type of uh, content at all, then I will uh, 
make a few more uh, a few more bits display what's happening in the on death now. Let me just pick up this quest real quick and then we'll get back to it. Um, oh, you gotta go in the quest giver is all in here for the for this zone. So you start with Wood Awakening and you you go from there. I think um I think he gives more than one if I remember correctly. And then you could you get you get a lot of free gear out of it. Or good gear. The mindless ones. Um, oh yeah, okay, so you have to you have to go out and complete that. So while we do this, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the news. Look at this. This is like this is not even like deep into it. This is like Everybody's on death knell on a Sunday. 50 people is a good number for a Sunday afternoon, I would say. But anyway, uh, so a couple of big announcements, and I just paused to take a look at that. D &D, oh yeah, the next Dungeon Master's Guide um, will include a starter campaign. So this dropped about four days ago. And uh, Wizards of the Coast had their announcement regarding, and this is um, a report by James Croton of uh, the Gamer, Gamer.com, and he talks about how um, uh, the system is trying to make things easier for new players, um, and they're going to revamp the Dungeon Master's Guide, which is probably a good idea at this point. It's almost ten years old, and honestly, the fifth, the five E DM's Guide is not very good. I mean, it's it has some good information in there, but it doesn't have a lot of practical advice that people might, uh, you know, for like total noobs, um, I would say. Um, it's crazy, right? Haven't had one single disconnect, which means that whatever the problem was uh, last night on the server had to do on their end, because I was actually playing EQ2 and I. I was in a lot of different areas and I had no problem with the EQ um, at all or anything else for that matter. Take care of this wretched one. I kind of forgot <laughs> for a second that I was playing hardcore and I started fighting the skeletons, which are actually level three, and I managed to get, you know, easily get to second level because these wretched zombies are not very tough, even though they're, um, some of them are level two, um, you know, but anything be below level 10, of course, it's not gonna, it's not gonna really be a percent too much of a challenge unless you accidentally pull something, but I had to chuckle because I was like, oh, you know, like a noob. I was starting to fight the skeletons and the skeletons were like level three, which I think I, I, you know, you could still take them, but it just takes longer. Um, you know, so if you want to go the, the, the route of where, um, of leveling, you, you need to, uh, you know, you try to be uh, more efficient with your timing. So, um, yeah. Oh, and there it is. There's the disconnect from the server. Um, that's the first time it happened. I was playing for about 20 minutes or something. So um, I don't know why it's happening. I'm gonna look into it and see if it's um, if it's because of, uh, I really don't know why actually. The connection seems to be pretty smooth with other servers. So maybe I'll do a follow-up where I play on a regular, um, you know, like a PVE or a PVP server, which is not, uh, and it could be that they're just getting too much um, bandwidth 
um, and they cannot support it because they have so much traffic all the time on the hardcore. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, I will investigate. <clears throat> okay, so since we experienced a disconnect with the game, um, let's go ahead and delve back into this news about uh, DM's Guide, including a starter campaign and what some of the changes are going to be or what they're proposing. Um, uh, basically, the developers are saying they're going to give you specific examples of the types of things they're talking about in terms of, you know, how to how to get um, new D DMs to um, to learn their craft. Basically, um, the DMG will now contain um, a campaign that you can basically either copy and emulate or just pick up and, and use to make your own. I do own every single uh, Dungeon Masters uh, guy or uh, um, DMs. A guide that uh, Wizards and TSR have put out dating back to first edition, and um, and if you count basic, you know even some of those, and they all a lot of them do have not only a full campaign, which is great, but they also have like plot hooks for different that if you can start your own, you basically just need a hook. Um, I think it's a DM guide for uh, I think I, I want to say third edition. They put two of them out, and the second one. I think it's better the two or or just as great, and it it gives you a table where you can roll for some uh, hooks, and it has a full campaign in um and I think it's in Greyhawk because five uh, E is in the Forgotten Realms um has been the the default setting, but uh, three point five jumped around. I think great that one was Greyhawk if I if I if memory serves, but anyway, not only will it make cre creating a starter adventure easier than ever, the article says, but it also it will also come with a rules encyclopedia that is backwards compatible with existing campaigns. I don't know about that. You should, I mean, they say backwards compatible, but if your campaign is a 5e, it's not really going to be backwards compatible because the new uh, rule set uh, is going to drop by then. So I don't know how they, they plan to do that. Um, um, they want to make things more intuitive, basically, for first time D&D players and, uh, and Dungeon Masters. Um, so uh, there was a YouTube video by it. I saw it. You can go ahead and Google it if you want to see it. But basically what, what happened was Perkins and some of the, the, the Wizards of the Coast guys in charge of game design talked about, um, you know, the rule, uh, the, it, basically what the DMG will cover in terms of the rules, which will be kind of like more alphabetical and easier to index because one of the problems with the, existing Dungeon Master's Guide or the 5e Dungeon Master's Guide is that it's it's kind of all over the place, you know, and so people have picked uh, hard, uh, have kind of trouble figuring, especially a new person, you know, they start with like the cosmology and some of the lore, which most people don't feel is very helpful because if you're new, then you don't really know the lore and it's you're not going to be starting from, from uh, a multiverse situation or creating a multiverse, you're going to be starting with the basics, you know. Um, they're also going to be releasing a monster manual on player's handbook, of course. They want you to put down money and get all three like they normally do. Um, and uh, so the it says that the uh, the latter, which is a monster manual, will break down D&D classes, races, and backgrounds, making it handy reference for any aspiring DM. Um, no, I'm sorry, the player's handbook will do that. It'll break down classes, races, and backgrounds, which is, you know, um, nothing new there. To try and visualize what the book is saying, Perkins and the team employed a more show, not tell approach, which means that all of the advice provided in the book has been used by the team to design a campaign that you can use a startup action to play with. Um, I don't know why they don't just publish something like the what the, the, the Minds of Fandel or do a sequel to that. Maybe they will. Um, they did say that there was going to be a chapter that's kind of like a surprise. And... Um, they didn't, they didn't say what the surprise was, but uh, if I had to guess, um, it's probably either going to be some kind of uh, detailed map of a setting that people are familiar with or people really like. Um, it could be something Dark Sun related. I'm just kind of spitballing here, kind of guessing what it could be. Or they could just have um, a, uh, a full-fledged sample or campaign or maybe like some templates. Um, that people can use to, because the whole goal is to make it way more, um, way more user friendly for newbies, new new DMs, and way more uh, practical 
in terms of um you know what they want how pe they want people to start uh thinking about dungeon mastering um so what is the purpose of this, this video why did i make this video uh our, this channel i don't know if i'm going to get a chance to upgrade i want to update a lot more when in terms of in terms of uh D, D and gaming in general so i'll make some uh mmo videos or whatever you guys feel uh you want to uh learn more about so you can leave a comment and let me know um i also want to um uh talk about uh that i i, I plan to do more blogging this year and get back into blogging and you know uh it's kind of uh time consuming to to, to uh, create and edit videos so uh, maybe I'll do a video like once a week or something like that, and then the rest of the time I'll I'll make two or three three posts um, on the uh, on my blog, which is over at uh, Nexus of Geek. So um, this here's what that looks like, and admittedly I haven't really been up up uh, posting it too much because I was, as I mentioned, uh, moving and things got in the way. But um, I plan to. Uh, to have more content here on nexusofgeek.blogspot.com. So I invite you guys to go ahead and, and uh, take a look at that on a periodic basis. So um, so that's all I have for uh, today. Um, getting back into uh, updating the new DM channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And um, and I'll catch you guys uh, pretty soon. And, and I hope that uh, uh, you enjoy playing whatever version of uh, Dungeons and Dragons or RPG that you currently play, whether it be an OSR version, basic, or um, or 5e, or even play testing the new, the new version that's not come, that hasn't even come out yet, but we have plenty of um, play test material to, uh, to, uh, to work with so far.